You know, it doesn't matter if you're the best, you know, or, or got the most cracked mechanics, or if you can out-aim anybody. Like, if you're not playing smart, that you're, go you're gonna lose fights and you're gonna lose games. And so playing with intelligence is the best way, guys, to ensure that you come out on top in Fortnite. And as players get to improve, man, it's never been more important. But your crunch time, yo, I am back. And today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to be a smarter player so you can win more games. Who's ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. So the first step to becoming a smarter player is understanding your strengths as a player. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking, you know, Keith Allen, I use ProGuys.com for coaching. I'm good at all the aspects of Fortnite. Well, you know, although that might be true, guys, like this is part of becoming a smarter player, right? Um, and a smarter player requires some more in-depth analysis. For example, like if you would consider yourself to be a really good fighter, when are you the best at fighting? Are you just really good at early game fighting or what about mid game or do you just tend to win fights you know later on in the game you know these are all the questions you know that you definitely want to ask yourself when considering your strengths you know another thing to consider when identifying your strengths are the aspects of competitive fortnite like you know loot paths shotgun preferences and rotational needs you know when it comes to competitive fortnite as most of you guys already know like early games tend to be filled with a lot of rng you know this not only makes it particularly you know challenging at times but you know it just means that you need to have a lot of structure to your early game you know this makes understanding your loot path strengths as you know a key part to becoming a smarter player do you play better when you get early game kills or you know do you prefer to avoid fights like do you play better when landing at a poi or hitting various chest spawns while rotating to the first zone these are all things that you got to consider all right bunch of crunch time okay next up we have shotgun preference the key aspect you know really of play to consider here and i mean like right here is you know what shotgun you are best with and how you're going to acquire that shotgun you know shotgun fighting is arguably like the most critical part of fighting which makes it you know an important strength to really identify the final example of potential strengths to identify is you know what do your rotational needs look like in other words like what rotational items do you do best with or need obviously this is going to vary from season to season but it's still something that you know you definitely should be thinking about when considering your strengths as a player okay guys so similar to strengths the next topic on our list in you know becoming a smarter player in order to win more games is identifying your weaknesses Whew. you know a weakness in fortnite is considered to be you know a mistake that you frequently repeat or an aspect of play that you regularly just struggle with. You know, most of the time, man, like this can be done during the time in which you discovered your strengths. For example, if you're just very good at fighting during the mid game, but regularly just die when trying to fight in the early game, that is something that you need to fix. So identifying and improving on your weaknesses is arguably like the most important part of becoming a smarter player, simply because it's just gonna help you guys improve at a quicker rate. You know, a really good way to do this is by VOD reviewing. I know I say this almost every video, but that's just how important it is. Like for you to go from where you are to the next level, you gotta do this. If you have been in the competitive Fortnite scene for a while, you most likely already know what VOD reviewing already is, right? And why you need it. For those of you who really don't, it is simply watching back the footage of you playing Fortnite in order to find the mistakes that you made in a past game that you might not have identified while you were in game. You know, VOD reviewing allows you to not only identify your weaknesses, but also begin to understand how you can improve upon that part of your play. Overall, man, like identifying your weak points is a huge step in becoming a smarter player and really just winning more games. All right, so if you want to VOD review your games, guys, but you don't know how to VOD review effectively, then you need to head on over to ProGuides.com like as soon as you can. Like we have an innovative VOD review system that will allow you to upload, you know, replays of your games so our pro coaches can just watch, you know, everything that you do to give you tailor-made feedback on every mistake. I mean, it's the fastest way to improve and all you need to do is just click the link in the top right. All right, so the next aspect of becoming a smarter player is to think more critically about Fortnite as a whole. You know, in this case, man, like we're gonna be talking about breaking down your inventory. If you have no idea what we're talking about, that is completely fine. I'm just glad you're here, all right? Okay, so if you're watching this video, you obviously wanna become a smarter player, right? Well, 
Okay, it's good that we're covering a topic that you're definitely unfamiliar with. Here we go. So there are a couple of different aspects to breaking down your inventory, but first, what exactly does inventory breakdown even mean? Like inventory breakdown refers to a large variety of things and you know, it's a very complex part of competitive Fortnite. And so when breaking down your inventory, you must not only consider what you prefer to carry in your inventory, but you know, how that compares to the player that you're fighting what type and the quantity of healing items you have, like what type of rotational items you're holding, you know, what guns you have, the, the rarity of those guns, you know, the amount of ammo, you know, car parts, bones, and so much more. Overall, when breaking down your inventory, your main goal should be to put yourself in situations where that inventory is just going to best assist you in moving further along into the game or just killing an opponent. For example, if you know that you know one of your main weaknesses is surviving late game without rotational items and you don't have rotational items in your inventory, but you know after considering your strengths that you tend to win a lot of your you know mid-game fights, based on your inventory breakdown, you should most likely you know look to take a mid-game fight in order to potentially gather some rotational items, you know, going into the end game to give yourself the best chance of winning the game. But your cross army, okay guys, it's time for the question of the day. All right, so what do you think, you know, your biggest weaknesses in Fortnite is? As we just explained, you know, knowing your strengths and knowing your weaknesses is key to playing smart. So what do you genuinely think that you're bad at? Let us know in the comments below and you know we're gonna check them out. All right, you guys ready to get back at the video? Let's get this going. So continue with these more complex Fortnite concepts. All right, we gotta discuss fight initiation. All right, so regardless of the region, like the best players in the world all have one thing in common. They're all good at fighting. <laughs> Well, obviously, you know, there are some exceptions, but you know, for the most part, at some point or another, like you're going to have to fight a player at least a handful of times in every competitive Fortnite event. And so with this in mind, fighting without a doubt, guys, is one of the most important parts of winning games consistently. And this leads us to the big question. So when is it a good time to take a fight? Well, this is going to really vary from players to players, you know, like best being the reason it's on this list. And so one of the easiest ways to really instantly become a smarter player and win more games is to understand the appropriate time to initiate a fight. Like whether it be the early game or mid game or an end game rotate, like your ability to properly initiate a fight can be really the difference in winning grand finals or placing second. So as we mentioned, this is not a one size fits all type of tip, right? Like this takes a lot of critical thinking and in depth understanding of your own play style. All right, so with that being said, guys, here are some pieces of information we think you got to consider. Like, do you have height? Do you know the opponent's health? Do you have more health than them? Like, do you have an idea of their inventory? Do you have better loot? Like, do you need this kill to better your inventory? Do you need this kill for your points? You see, all of these questions are questions that you could be asking yourself when trying to decide if this is a good time to take this fight. All right, so the final way to become a smarter player is to master your loot path in every way. When it comes to winning games, there is nothing more important than having good loot. Who agrees? Come on. Like this makes your ability to loot quickly and safely even more important. And not to mention, man, like depending on where you land, you will most likely encounter other players during that time as well. So whether you're landing at a POI or just simply, you know, hitting various chests throughout the map, you need to memorize every single chest, man, floor loot, and ammo crate spawn there is. This not only will help you loot more efficiently, but if a player cuts off your loot path, this knowledge will give you an idea of what quality of loot, you know, that player has, and, you know, which can definitely make you have the great decision to initiate a fight or not. So overall, man, like understanding your loot path is so essential to winning Fortnite games and should definitely be a priority when practicing for events, all right? So now for a quick recap, here we go. First, identify your strengths and play around them. Like this will allow you to regularly play to your advantage. Second, guys, consider your weaknesses and work on improving those aspects of play. And so by doing this, you give yourself a better chance of winning more games. Third, regularly break down your inventory throughout the game and this will provide you with necessary information about how you should play in a variety of situations. Fourth, draft a checklist of questions to ask yourself when considering, you know, taking a fight and run them through your head in anticipation of an upcoming fight. Finally, guys, acknowledge the importance of mastering your loot path and this is gonna help you guys loot more efficiently as well as really give you information about contestant players, come on. All right, guys, that's everything that you need to know about playing smart in Fortnite. And, and if you start to play smarter, guys, you know, chances are you're slowly going to start winning more and more games, right? And if you want to keep on improving, let me say this, like you got to check out the rest of our channel for more tips and more tricks. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to connect with me, I'm right here. Connect with my, my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'll see you on the next one. Keep going. Peace.